So you might be in a situation where you want to go ahead and fix your iPhone contact names if the contacts are just not showing up. Now, this can happen for a couple of different reasons. The first thing I'd recommend doing here for the most part, which can probably cause some issues for some people, is to go ahead and just double check your particular you know, iCloud account. Sometimes if your iCloud account wasn't posted properly, if there's anything like that for the most part, it can probably cause some issues. So what you're going to want to do here is double check your Apple ID. So go inside of your settings app right here, go check your Apple ID, which is usually at the very top, and just double check that this Apple ID is properly, you know, your part, you know, Apple ID, you may want to have to re resign in or whatever. But that's the first thing I'd recommend doing and making sure that your contact names are on. So you can go into iCloud here. You may just want to make sure your phone or your contacts or whatever are, you know, associated. Because if they're not, well, then that's probably going to be the number one thing that's going to have some issues with. Now, if you do that and that doesn't seem to be the issue, the next thing I'd recommend doing is seeing what contact names are not showing up or if they're not showing up right. So if they're not showing up at all, it might mean because you didn't add that contact name in properly. You may want to go back into your messages account right here and just make sure that you've added that particular contact in properly. Because if you haven't, that can also be another issue. Now, on top of that, if you do that, that doesn't seem to be the issue or that doesn't seem to be working. Another thing you may want to try doing here too is to go through and just double check your particular Apple, you know, your iPhone and make sure it's up to date. So you can go inside of your iPhone settings right up here, scroll down until you see general, which is right here, scroll into software update, and all you're gonna to wanna to do here is update your particular iPhone. This is another thing that you may wanna try doing as well. You can install the latest update on your device, and that could probably end up fixing the problem too. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.